What goes through your mind when you're getting like light bulbs bashed over your head? Nothing makes you feel more alive than getting close to death. Yo, yo, yo. I said my move. Black you that beat up. We got cha-cha time this time. Brand new beer we did here at Unbranded Brewing Company for the man himself, the franchise of CCW, Cha-Cha Charlie. Has there been any spot that you were ever involved in that maybe you woke up the next morning with a few sorenesses or bumps and bruises? Are you talking about my like reputation here for getting in the middle of the restaurant? No, of- not at all. And getting receipts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you're, if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough, right? Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Tone In Entertainment. Today we're at CCW Bash at the Brew here in Hialeah, Florida. And I'm joined by Alex Ocean. How you doing, Alex? What's up, man? Thanks for having me. Man, it's been, I've been watching you for a while. And it's like, we have not made this interview happen. And I'm so glad we're finally making it come yeah, together. Yeah, no, it's right been now. a while. It's been a while. Now, on your Instagram page, right, it says that you're a musician yeah. and not a wrestler. But it says... A hardcore wrestler or deathmatch wrestler. Deathmatch wrestler. Well, why just go with deathmatch wrestler? Um, you know, I don't know. I I, I had a lot of um, I had a lot of success doing deathmatches on the deathmatch scene. I guess really I left it at that because I, I quit wrestling for about a year, and so uh, while I was gone, that was what I was known for. So I just I left that part up uh, to really pursue the music career, um, and now I do both. So I guess I should change it. Now. <laughs> I've watched some of those death match or hardcore, whatever you want to call it, matches. What goes through your mind when you're getting, like, light bulbs bashed over your head? Nothing makes you feel more alive than getting close to death. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. I absolutely fucking love it. So when you climb a ladder that's 20 feet in the air and jump off of it? It's a, it's a rush. It's an adrenaline rush like you can't even imagine. Uh, you see me jump off the 20-foot ladder. Um, it's amazing. Try it. <laughs> Kids don't, don't try it. Try this at home. <laughs> Come and try. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Disclaimer: Do not try this without professional supervision. <laughs> now, when you started wrestling, did you think like you know? I mean, it is what you're known for. People love to see yeah, absolutely the extra violence from Alex Ocean. Right. Was that the direction you thought you would go when you first started training to be a wrestler? Um, you know, I, I always had interest in that side of wrestling. I wouldn't say that's where it went right away. Um, but once I kind of got a taste of it, like, I was hooked. Like, I, I wanted to do it. I was a big Mick Foley fan growing up. I got to work with Mick Foley here at CCW once, actually. Um, and ever since then, I was just like, man, this is this is what I want to do. Like, this is, it just, it's just, a, it's just ups the level from a normal wrestling match, which is already, like, an amazing high. Like, and it just times it by 10, you know what I mean? It just, like, it, it, you can't even explain it. It's like jumping out of an airplane. Okay, except for you go home with a few more bumps and bruises and jumping out. An airplane seems to be much safer than what you as do. As long now. as the parachute works. <laughs> I can see if anybody's going to jump out of a plane without a parachute, it'll probably be Alex Ocean at one point. <laughs> like, I'll just take my chance with it. <laughs> now, you said you got to do stuff with Mick Foley, right? I did. Legend in so many different ways. Like, what was the 100%. experience like? Oh, my God, I was... I was in the middle of the ring like a little kid, just like cheesing as he came out. Like I cut a promo against him, I stood like across the ring from him and spoke directly to him. So it was like li- living a literal childhood dream, like just standing there and like just trying to like keep my composure. Because at the end of the day, I was trying to whoop his ass. It, I was unsuccessful, but they cheated. So uh, I mean, nobody's gonna get over on Alex Ocean unless you have a few extra sons of bitches yeah right cheats up their sleeves right you know you mentioned music you are a vocalist i am a lead singer i am you know tell us about the band too yeah i'm in a band it's called a moment of violence uh we're of a me- course <laughs> of course <laughs> violence is my middle name uh we're a metalcore band we're out of port st Lucie, florida we have a couple singles out we're working on an ep right now um honestly we're getting a lot of good attention it's 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 pretty it's some tight shit like it's it's um it's gonna be good it's gonna be real good so if you're into that kind of music Music, um, which if you're into the kind of wrestling that I do, you're probably into somewhat of that kind of music. Check it out. And if you don't like it, uh, that's cool, too. That's cool, too. At least you gave it a shot. Right. Thanks. 
Now, what can people expect when they? Because I see you guys do perform in front of crowds and stuff like do. that. What do people? What can people expect when you when your band goes on stage? What what kind of vibe are they gonna get? Oh, we're gonna melt your fucking face off. Right. Oh, it's just incredible solos. We have the, some of the best guitar players in South Florida. Like it's it's actually a complete hodgepodge of talent that's just incredible. Like so you look at it, it's kind of like this is the band. Like it just it doesn't look like what you think of the band, right? They don't all look like me as, as most I guess metalcore bands do. Uh, but dude, when we play like they're just they're just so good. Like I feel so honored to be a part of them. They make it's just it's amazing. Now I feel like, you know, there's a lot of creativity that goes into wrestling, and I, yeah, and I sure. can probably, as a wrestler fan, understand that more. But there has to be a lot of creativity that goes into making successful music. Like, what's the process of just putting together like an amazing album or amazing song? I mean, for the songs that we've done um, that have gotten really good, uh, you know, reviews and attention. Like, I mean, we spend in months just making one song, just recording everything exactly how it has to be, just working on it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a long process. It's not just record the song, put it out. It's a very long, tedious process to make sure that it's the level of, um, you know, technology so advanced these days. So it's, you really have to, you, you have to, your shit has to be up top. It has to be good. And, you know, we make sure our stuff's good. It just, it takes a long time. It's a long process, but I love it. I wouldn't do it, you know. The only thing that really compares to being on stage is, is being in a wrestling ring. And that's, you know, it's one of the reasons I came back. Like, you can't get that live crowd feeling. Um, and that's one of the reasons I came back. We do a lot of concerts, and I love that, but sometimes I just got to fucking hit somebody. And here we are. <laughs> and you don't get in trouble for hitting people. I don't get in trouble. Yeah, I don't get arrested here. Right. <laughs> now, speaking of, like, feeding off the energy of the crowd, you know, when we set this interview up, I'm like, I'm going to go back and watch some old Alex Ocean, uh, you know, wrestling matches just to catch up. And, you know, I watched some matches during the pandemic. One in particular, you wrestled Jackal Stevens in a hardcore match backstage. So I did. What was the difference between wrestling in front of, you know, there were wrestlers there cheering, but it wasn't the fans. What was the difference between between wrestling during the pandemic and then wrestling a match here at the at the brewery here in Hialeah. Well, I mean, that, the energy here is crazy. It, it's like nothing else. I will say, during the pandemic, I had probably my most successful run, and that's specifically because nothing else was happening. Deathmatch is some pretty outlaw stuff. Don't really play by the rules. So we, we still had shows. So that was the only thing to watch. So, like, where you might, you know what I mean? Like, we were getting thousands and thousands of views because we were the only thing running live shows. So all wrestling fans were watching us. You know what I mean? So um, it was different because you're not feeding off that energy. But at the end of the day, you start bleeding a little bit and beating the shit out of somebody. Like, that feels pretty good, too. So... Now, speaking of beating the shit out of somebody, tonight... Excuse you're in my language. Match. Yeah, excuse our language. Whatever, we're uncensored here. It's all good. Uh, speaking of beating the shit out of somebody, let's get back on topic. You're tagging with my man, Agony, one of my favorite people here. In yes, PCW. sir. Yes, sir. You guys got quite the challenge. You're going for the CCW Tag Team titles tonight against the Crown. The Crown, yes, sir. What does the Crown have in store for themselves? Shit, man. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know if you've seen the work they just put out on us. Um, they cut a promo, a very well-done promo. Very props, props, kudos. Um, and they made mention that the only way that we were going to beat them was with a Hail Mary. And as funny as that is, Hail Marys are kind of my specialty. It's kind of what I do. And the thing with Hail Marys is eventually you're going to hit one if you never quit. See, I don't think these guys know exactly who the hell I am or what the hell I've done. I don't stay down. I keep getting up. I have done the craziest shit that you can imagine that the, the things on TV would just not even compare, right? It, it gets violent, it gets bloody, it gets gruesome, it gets fucking intense. They have no idea what I've done. They think I'm just some, another guy, Wearing a dolphin shirt with some fucking eyeliner on. No, I'm that fucking dude, bro. Like, you're gonna see. I don't know if it's gonna be tonight. It's been a while since I've been kind of mustered that out of me, but it's gonna come back. So, for their sake, I guess maybe I hope it's not tonight. Mm. Now, speaking of Hail Marys, right? Probably my favorite Hail Mary of all time was the Miami Miracle, right? When the Dolphins, which Hail Marys do happen once in a while. You're, they're saying that you're going to need a Hail Mary. You're a huge Dolphins fan on top of that. I believe you're a season ticket Fins holder, up. right? Season ticket holder. Right? So, okay. See, I've done a little bit of research here. And 
you know, they made the Miami miracle. Nobody thought that was going to happen that time when they did that Hail Mary and won the game. The crowd's saying, you need a Hail Mary. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling. My Ma- Miami Miracle 2.0. Oh. It's I'm, coming. I'm feeling it It's tonight. coming. You think. People just don't remember. Maybe it's because we, we weren't here. Maybe it's because we didn't have the run here. Me and Agony were once known as Horror Story. We ran this company. We main evented every show for over a year together as a tag team. Do you understand how unprecedented that is as a tag team to main event show after show after show with former WWE superstars on the card? We are in the main event. We made TLC what it was. We were in the main event time after time after after time again until we eventually split up. The only time we went in the main event was when we lost the belt. Surprise. And we haven't been back since. And you think we're just going to walk back and take this L like nothing? Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. Well, I'm feeling it tonight. Let's talk about the tattoos. Because you got some, I mean, this side, that side, like, Thank you. you've got Thank some you. fresh ink, definitely. Thank you. Like, I don't know, what's your favorite tattoo here? Um... Is so we could show off, actually. So yeah. this one over here, I was in the uh, United States Army for eight years. Okay. Um, so I was uh, combat arms. I was a. I started out as a tanker for a year, and then I moved to a cap scout. If you know what any of those jobs are. Um, this was my very first uh, platoon logo, and we were called the Hooligans. So I got the uh, Hooligans tattooed on me um, in honor of that, just because that was my first um, unit. Kind of made me into who I was today. Well, thank you for your service. Thank I you very was much. not aware of that. Now, what would you say was maybe, I don't know if you could speak on anything that happened, but maybe the craziest thing that happened while you were serving? Oh, you don't want to know that. I don't want to know. You okay. don't want to know that. Okay, so, no. No, we don't know. That. We're just going to move on. <laughs> we'll talk about that after the cameras go off the air. <laughs> now, what's in the future for Alex Ocean? Shit, I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, what? Maybe TLC, too. I guess we're going to be defending the tag team championships in April, is what I just heard. Um, we're going to see. Statement. Statement. Sounds good to me. TLC is my shit. TL- TLC is what I do. That's, I, I mean, the most views I ever got was that you better, like, stitch that in here as I'm talking about right, it, right? Yeah, we need right. to put, like, the I'll sidebar, the video, yeah. the sidebar right here. <laughs> now, what are people missing out if they're not coming to Bash at the Brew? I mean, if you've been here, you already know what you're missing out on. Right. If you haven't been here, like... You don't even have to like wrestling. You couldn't think this shit's corny. This is an amazing show. This is an amazing atmosphere. You're gonna have fun here. Like, you can't not have fun here. I don't even like wrestling. I have fun here. No. He doesn't beat the shit out of people. <laughs> he loves to beat the shit out of people. I'm, I'm hoping he just doesn't beat the shit out of me. I'm trying to keep this never, v- never. V- very. I'm, never. I'm on Team Alex Ocean right now. Because <laughs> he will bash me over the head with a steel chair. <laughs> I didn't sign the waiver. Though. I didn't. <laughs> now, you, you've obviously, you know. You've had some injuries over your career. What would you say is the most serious injury you've had? Yeah, um, what was it, November, September 2019? Um, I broke my neck. Right. So, uh, suicide dive, funny enough of a name, uh, went wrong. I was handcuffed and I ate shit hard. I broke my neck. Um, my C3 slipped over my C4. Um, I had a sublux uh, and a fracture of the C4 and the C5, something like that. I don't really remember. It's been a little while now. Um, but, I recovered. I wrestled like four months after that. So I was actually back pretty quick. Well, a broken neck and you were back four months. I remember them. Uh, I remember the, the, I think they were doing like um, fundraisers or GoFundMe's or yeah, something. Yeah, we, we had a, we had a, like a fundraiser show for me right. um, to raise some money for my medical bills, which I had a couple of. So. Right. Those all, yeah, I'm sure they costed a few dollars on top of that. They did. Yeah. Now, what goes through your mind when, you know, that moment, you know, something has gone horribly wrong? I mean, that moment, to be honest, I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know anything. I was, I got knocked out. I kind of came to, the ref came over to me, um, and I asked him if I was okay. That's, I, that's, I just remember looking at, looking up at the ref, and, and he went, I just go, am I okay? And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you okay? And I was like, what, what? I tried to get up, and like a pain just shot down my whole body, down my whole arm, leg, and I like kind of stumbled. There was a nurse that was in the back that was like watching the show, like ran out, stopped the match. It was like, absolutely not. They like threw a a quick collar on me, like walked me real gingerly uh, to the back. They called an ambulance, made me sit and wait. And um, yeah, I broke my neck. So thankfully they uh, did that for me because it could have been really bad. I could have done something really dumb, Um, but thankfully I didn't. I am trained. (laughs) 
Just got to throw that out there. Right. Uh, it was just an accident, you know. Um, shit happens sometimes. You take the risk every time you step a foot in the ring, and that's the risk I took, and that's what happened. Thankfully, it, you know, it could have been much worse. It could. Um, I remember telling the doctor that I had to wrestle the next weekend because I was going to be in a tag team match against the great Sasuke, who's one of my, like, all-time idols. Uh, I did not get to be in that match because of said neck, and I just remember the doctor, she looked at me, and she just goes, let's see if you ever wrestle again. And that, you know, kind of stuck, and it was like, okay, maybe I need to slow down. I didn't for another, about two years, and then I'm just getting old now, so. Well, you... you <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm not old. No, no, you're not old. We're all young at heart here, no matter what. Now, you have wrestled some crazy matches. You've wrestled against against one of your idols. Is there still, like, someone out there that you would still love to have that dream match with? It's been a while since I've thought about that, to be honest with you. I have not thought about that in a minute. Um, there, there is. There's, there's a couple matches that I want to happen. Hopefully, they can still happen. They're a little less... Um, like market heavy than I think you might anticipate. More or less people that I came wet up with um, who are now doing incredible things on the indies um, with companies like MLW and, and other companies. They had some awesome mania shows um, and they're doing really good things and death matches, not a death matches. Um, and I'd really like to, to wrestle some of those guys again that I, I kind of came up with during the pandemic. But in terms of like the big names, like, you know, I've had so many opportunities Anyone that comes, I'll be grateful for. It's always fucking amazing. But, I mean, my bucket list is pretty full, to be honest with you. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Now, what's in the, uh, the future for the band? Any new shows coming up? Anything we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, we got a show April 22nd. Um Deland Palooza up in Deland, Florida. Uh, that's going to be at a festival. We play at 9 o'clock on the main stage. It's going to be awesome. Played it uh, last year, and it was... It was that time frame. It was, it was awesome. So um, that'll be really good. Uh, we got some shows coming up. Shit, I don't even remember where they are. I just I know we got some shows coming up. If you follow a Moment of Violence band on all social media, we post all the show flyers. We post all the shows on there. So if you want to check out the music, check that out. We're on Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Uh, and if you want to check out the wrestling, wherever I'm wrestling, my uh, I also post all the band stuff too. It's um, Ocean with an X, not an O, X C E A N. Ocean underscore official. Um, that's for Instagram, TikTok, all of the major social media platforms. Um, I post everything up there as well. So if you want to follow any of that, please do so. Knock that out right there. So there you go. Well, I'm gonna go let you get ready for that match tonight. You Thank got the you. tag team match. You got Agony's ready to go. I saw him pacing back and forth over here. I saw it. the crown walking We're around a little it. earlier. But it is the Friday before they're Easter. Cocky. They're cocky. They're big, but they're cocky. Right? They're too cocky. The Friday before Easter. We're gonna say a hail mary for Alex Ocean. It's coming tonight. It's coming. All right. Well, guys, if you like interviews like this with Alex Ocean the future CCW Tag Team Champion. Make sure you stay tuned in here to Tone In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.